Hi friends, today's story is titled The Little Red Hen Makes a P-I-Z-Z-A P-P-Pizza! Yay! So the Little Red Hen's going to make a pizza. It is retold by Philemon Sturgis and it is illustrated by Amy Walrod. Wow. So I see some animals on the cover. I see a little red hen. She's mixing up the ingredients in her bowl. I see a cat with a saxophone. I see a dog. Hooray with a party hat. And I see a little duck. Quack, quack. <laughs> with like a little swimming tube around him. He, he's swimming in his pond. All right, let's see what this story is all about. The Little Red Hen Makes the Pizza. The Little Red Hen had eaten the last slice of her tasty loaf of bread. She sipped a cup of chickweed tea, chickweed tea and taken her nap. Now she was hungry again, so she scratched through her cupboard and spied a can of, <gasps> ooh, what do you see? Tomato sauce! Why don't I make a lovely little pizza, she said to herself. Ooh, well, I wonder what ingredients you need to make a pizza, do you guys know? She rummaged through her pan drawer. There were bread pans, cake pans, muffin pans, frying pans, all kinds of pans. But not one single pan was large and round and flat. Clock, she said, I need a pizza pan. So she stuck her head out the window. Good morning, she said. Does anybody have a pizza pan? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. No, not I, said the cat. Very well then, I'll fetch one myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the hardware store and she bought a pizza pan, a large mixing bowl, a pizza slicer, and some other stuff. Oh, wow, she sure did. Look at her wagons full of lots of stuff. Plants. Ooh, she wants some nails, some dish soap, a yardstick, a pot, a broom. Ooh, she bought a lot of stuff. When she got home, she opened the cupboard. She saw beans and rice, sugar and spices, jars of jam and jars of honey and even pickled eggplant but guess what no flour clock she said i need flour she stuck her head out the window hello she said who will run to the store for me and get me some flour not i said the duck not i said the cat no I, said the dog. Uh-oh, look at they're just busy playing, aren't they? <sighs> so do they, do they want to help the little red hen? Hmm, they're not helping her, are they? Very well then, I'll fetch some myself, said the little red hen. So she went to the supermarket and she bought some flour, some salt, some oil, and some other stuff. <laughs> Her cart is full of stuff. She must like to go shopping. When she got home, she opened the fridge. Clock, she said. There's cream cheese, blue cheese, string cheese, and Swiss cheese, but no <gasps> mozzarella. So, oh, she's got lots of different cheeses. 
She stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will go to the store and buy me some mozzarella? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I will fetch it myself, she said. So Little Red Hen went to the delicacy. She bought some mozzarella, pepperoni, and olives. Some mushrooms, onions, and garlic. And a can of eight small anchovies. <gasps> Ooh, anchovies. Do you guys know what anchovies are? Anchovies are little fish. Ew. They're salty. I don't think I like them. <laughs> And some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. When she got home, the little red hen put on her apron and stuck her head out the window. Good afternoon, she said. Who will help me make some pizza dough? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I will make it myself, said the little red hen. So she put the flour and some other stuff into her mixing bowl and stirred and mixed and mixed and kneaded and kneaded and pounded until she had a big ball of pizza dough. Ooh, so do you know what it means to knead? Wait, let's mix her. Mix up our pizza dough in her bowl. Ooh, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up, stir it up. All right, now we got to knead it. Knead it is like this motion. And you flip it over and you kind of rock it back and forth, right? That's kneading the dough. So she's making what? Pizza dough! She's making pizza dough for her. And maybe her friends, who knows? After the dough rose, because the dough has to sit and rise, so it gets big and puffy, the little red hen rolled it flat and folded it and rolled it again and folded it and rolled it again. And when the dough was just right, she tossed it up in the air. <laughs> One last time for good luck, and she put it in the pizza pan. Ooh, have you guys ever gone to a pizza shop and seen them make real pizza? They like someone might toss it in the air and catch it. That's funny. Then she stuck her head out the window. Excuse me, she said. Who will help me make the topping? Not I, said the duck. Not I, said the dog. Not I, said the cat. Very well then, I will make it myself, said the little red hen. So she chopped. Show me how you chop. Chop, 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 chop. And she grated and grated and she sliced. Next, she opened her can of tomato sauce and she spread it all over her pizza dough. And on top of that, she put some grated mozzarella cheese, some sliced pepperonis, some chopped olives, some mushrooms, some onions and garlic, eight small anchovies, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and some other stuff, but no pickled eggplant. The little red hen looked at her pizza. It looked just right. So she put it in the oven and sat down to sip a cup of chickweed tea. Whew! That was a lot of work. She cut and chopped and sliced and grated. Wow, she's spending a lot of time making that pizza, isn't she? Mmm. Pretty soon a delicious smell drifted from the oven. It filled the room and floated out the window. My lovely little pizza must be ready, she thought. Mmm, do you want to smell pizza? <laughs> do you guys like pizza? I do. I wonder why you guys like on your pizza. It was lovely, but it was not little. <laughs> what? She made a huge piece of memory littles like this. She made a huge pizza. Oh my gosh, do you think she can eat that all by herself? She got a tummy ache, wouldn't she? What is she going to do with this huge pizza? So she stuck her head out the window. Good evening, she said. Would anybody like some pizza? <gasps> oh, can you guess what the duck said? Can you guess what the dog said? 
Can you guess what the cat said? <gasps> oh, what do you think they said? Do you think they want some pizza? They all said, yes, of course. But the cat scraped most of the topping off his share. When the pizza was all gone, the little red hen made herself another cup of chickweed tea. Then she asked, who will help me do the dishes? <gasps> now can you guess what the duck, the dog, and the cat each said? Uh-oh, are they going to help her do the dishes? <laughs> what do you think? Yes or no? Yes? No? Maybe? <laughs> Let's find out. <gasps> they each said, I will, I will, I will. Oh my goodness, they're finally helping her. <laughs> Yay. So she fed on that yummy pizza, so they better help her at least do the dishes, right? She spent a long time making that pizza. Remember, she had to go to the grocery store to get all those ingredients. And then she had to come home and make the pizza. And they did. Oh, they're helping her do the dishes. The end. <laughs> that was a good story. Um, so they helped each other, didn't they? Yeah. At the end, they helped each other out and they became they were friends at the end and friends help one another out right yeah so if somebody gives you something you should say please and thank you and if you can help somebody is really nice to do i wonder if you guys ever help your mom or dad do the dishes after they cook you a good yummy meal do you ever say Hey, Mom, I'll sweep the floor. Hey, Mom, I'll help you do the dishes. <gasps> maybe someday, if you don't, maybe someday you can help your mom or dad or grandma, grandpa, or cousins or aunts or whoever, family members, help them do the dishes and help them out clean up, right? All right, I hope you enjoyed our story, and please answer the questions down below. All right, thanks, friends. Have a wonderful day.